Some veneer will cut very, very quickly. Others will take a little bit longer, but you don't want to rush it. There's one. And I cut one more strip. It doesn't matter if you cut one more dark strip or one more light strip, but cut one more than you need. So if there's 64 squares on a chessboard, in fact, another reason I'm making this chessboard is that that was in the garage and the garage got flooded. And as you can see, it's a bit sad. The other thing I don't like about that is it was chipboard. It was a very expensive chessboard I bought years ago. So we'll make a better one now. And it's, it's a question of feel and um, listening. You can feel when the knife is cutting through the veneer all the way and you can also hear it. There's a change in the sound that the knife makes. So as I said, if you've got 64 squares, that's really eight rows of dark and eight rows of light. But you want to do one extra row. And it doesn't matter if it's dark or it's light, but just one extra row and you'll see why shortly. Just make sure they're all good. So I've got three there. So I'm going to do another three rows. Actually, I might do um, another four because these strips aren't long enough to do the whole board. I'm actually have to do another set of these strips and then cut them in half to make up the width that I need for the board. But all will be revealed. When I'm cutting too, I, I angle the knife into the edge a bit so it's not straight down like that. I sort of angle the knife a bit. So I'm cutting along the edge at an angle. And that, I find anyway, that gives me a much more precise, sharper cut. And speaking of sharp, make sure your blade's nice and sharp. This one, if I need to tickle it up a bit, I'll just grab a bit of 1,000 or 800 and then just give it a couple of licks on a bit of wet and dry. And you would be amazed at how that brightens it up. If you do have a strop, it's a good idea too. Just give it a quick strop. And that just takes any buildup or gunk that happens to be on the blade. And we'll get back into it. Even though I think it's through, I'll give it a couple of cuts just to make sure rather than pull the knife away and it's not quite through. So I want five. Yeah, I'll do another. Do another one. It's always good to have a few spares too, just, just in case there's a hiccup along the way. And with my woodworking, invariably there is a hiccup along the way. This is something you can do, I don't know, one afternoon or even get the kids involved because it's not too complex. It, just a great way of honing your knife skills or veneering skills. It's a nice way to lose yourself and relax. Um, I did get asked the other day to do a backgammon board, so that will also be coming down the track. I don't know exactly when because I'm getting asked to do a lot of projects. And one for luck, there we go. These bits here, if you've got a lot of veneer, toss them away if you don't have too much veneer. Hang on to it, come in handy for something. Now we'll do the 
walnut. And what I want with this, because as you can see, it's, it's got a, a stripe in it. I don't really want the stripe. All I want is this part here. So I'll just take strips out up until here and then these pieces I'll keep for another job. Okay, there we have it. Save that for another day. Put these somewhere where you know where they are because we'll be using them again a little bit later on. Just to one side. Now we, whoops, now we can glue it all together. And they all strips, all the same width. I've just made these boards up. I've got a lot of them around the workshop. All they are is MDF with uh, paper and that's oven bake over it. I used to use a, a wax wrap. They don't make it anymore, so I had to change with the times. And try and keep them so they're all the same sort of orientation. Just lay down a, a light one, a dark one. A light one, a dark one, a light one, a dark one. What have we got there? Six, we need two more. So we do it on the side like that. So you got light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one extra light one. And that's it. And you start gluing them together. Easy enough. Sticky tape. Um, I use the Sellotape brand. The reason I do that is I find the gum doesn't go hard on me. And I'm actually going to use a quick setting glue because I want to get this done reasonably quick. So you take a strip of sticky tape. Place it over the edge like that. Now I just put it just over the one I'm gluing together and you'll actually feel it snapping down and that gives you a really, really nice close fit. Now to glue them together. All you do is fold it in half like that and then just run a bead of glue down the join. Just give it a rub with the finger to make sure you get it all the way in. And then open it up, just fold it flat. Just on top of that. I've got some heavy weights over there, so I'll just put those over there with some heavy weights on it. Now the reason I'm doing this extra piece here is because I know what I've done there isn't enough for the entire chessboard. So I'm gonna glue this one together, and then I'll cut it in half, join end to end, and that'll give us the right size for the board. If you're using full size strips, it doesn't matter, but I was limited by the length of the veneer that I had. <laughs> 